Good afternoon from super sunny Florida. I am Athena Cooper and today I will be giving you a short briefing on, the, on my sources for our History 325 immigration project. When reading the project prompt, one question came to mind and that was, is America a nation of immigrants or a nation of desired immigrants? This led to another more personal question. Was it worth it? Was it worth it for them to leave everything and come to a place that was still brand new itself? Today I have four sources that I would like to tell you about and then at the end I will try and explain the, the answer to the four, four mentioned questions. First is a letter written to Mr. John Smith granting him permission to leave California and return to Australia. This handwritten letter was from the Vigilante Committee that was established in 1851. This committee believed that it was a local government of San Francisco and it was ill-equipped to protect its citizens from a large amount of people immigrating from Australia or migrating from the eastern United States. This committee would hold trials, find guilty or innocent, and then carry out the sentence. This committee stood with the teachings of the Know Nothing Party and if you were an immigrant or a Democrat, you were automatically at odds with them. This letter states that the offender has been granted his request to leave the United States and return to where he came, which was Australia. This permission was granted with the understanding that if he returns, the penalty will be death. This source gives us an insight to, to the reach of the Know Nothing Party and lengths they would go to the, for their ideology. This man was not a desired immigrant, according to them. and did not see through to his naturalization. Was it worth it? We don't know. I would like to have, I would like to ha assume that it was not, being that he was not allowed to stay. Next I submit four immigrants and their belongings on a dock looking over the water. This picture showed a, an adult family from behind on a dock in October 30th, 1912. The picture states nothing of their heritage or culture other than they were white. Whiteness alone does not lend to them being desirable at this time. Desired or not, they are immigrants. I can only imagine that it was worth it. Third, I was able to find a short interview given by Emma and William Griner. This was a very exciting interview, as in their voices, they were still excited to tell their story. Emma Griner and her brother William Griner immigrated to America from Italy. They came to America in 1925 at the young ages of 11 and 12, respectively. The 1 minute 34 second audio clip gives an opportunity for the listener to hear Emma describe how nervous and excited they were. She spoke of what it was like to pack and what they packed and why. Her brother spoke of the toys and that they brought and the games they would play. This source allows the listener to hear excitement on the in the thought of what were such what the thoughts were of such young immigrants to the country. As Italian immigrants, they faced a hard transition. They were not desired. But yet again, still immigrants, like the family in the four photo. Their voices sound excited and still excited to tell their story almost 60 years later. For them, even though they had a hard times, I hope it was worth it. It sounds like it was. Last, I bring to you my friend Gudasin Mirage. Gudasin Mirage was just 18 years old when he became an interpreter for the American Medical Forces stationed at Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. In 2013, at the age of 25, he was granted permission to immigrate from Kabul, Afghanistan to San Diego, California. He works at the Defense Language Institute and other odd jobs while he awaits citizenship. It has been a long and hard road for him. He often misses his family and has hard times assimilating. He doesn't make enough money to survive and at times his family from Afghanistan still supports him financially. Mirage's story of immigration is a source that will allow us to understand trials of immigrating in today's age. There is no longer an out loud spoken opinion of which culture is desired. That is not to say that he doesn't face assaults, humiliation, or crimes due to his Muslim faith. 
On the outside, he dresses like an American and acts like one, enjoying the mall and shopping and the beach. When he speaks is when you notice the difference. And when he attends the mosque, he wears his traditional formal wear. I asked him if it was worth it. He paused and said, I miss my family, but I love San Diego and I love my new country. To close, all four immigrant sources came from different countries at different times. In my opinion, desired immigrants or not, we are all immigrants and we all help to shape the fabric of our country. Was it worth it? I only hope that even though it was hard and full of rough times and full of uncertainty, that in the end for them, it was. Thank you for listening to my briefing.